Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you've got a picture like this say and you want to do a kind of effect on it you might say go to curves and uh, I want to pull this sort of right down here but as you guess got going down here look this is hitting the bottom of this here it's bottoming out maybe I don't want that and maybe I want to pull this but now I start pulling this down here and look at this bit's going up again so I, oh, I need to play around with this but that affects this and it just gets really really messy and you still don't get the effect that you want so what we do then is go okay also what we do typically is we put it on luminosity here so if I'm just doing the lightness and if I'm doing that then of course the color goes a little bit funny as well that's easy enough to bring that back so I just go down here and add a say a vibrance in which to just use the saturation and drop that down so we've got a darker curb toning here your curves are trying to do this kind of thing but it's looking a bit odd but moving one thing moves another thing so it's a bit of a mess so another way of doing this is to not leave the we'll just leave that there is go to adjustments and go to a gradient map now first thing you have to do is to turn this into black and white so the color here if i change the rgb sliders there to gray grayness then i can easily put that end there to black that in there to white and effectively i got just a straight black to white and this is like a curves thing here i can say put this down to luminosity and it's now affecting the color there again the, that vibrance and saturation adjustment here is is affects this the same as it affects the curves so i'll just leave it on but now what you can do is add extra points here so if I, i'd say a point down here and i can see i've got position here i can change the color of that up here so i can make that save somewhat darker if i bring that all the way down here then you're already getting that kind of nice deep shadows with the highlight still standing out here and it's because this bit here is linear right? and this bit here is linear you don't get that bezier effect that curves effect where you've got the curves thing trying to be nice and smooth but ending up you know woggling all over the place and you could say let's put in another point let's put that somewhere up here i could type in here or whatever but say we put that up around the 45 percent something like that and we're going to make that here match what it might be up here so i go to here and pull this up to yeah maybe even sort of 80 percent some of that and look at the effect i'm getting here this is quite a dramatic effect and it's too bright and things you can i can even go the brights are too bright i can go right to the very end there and bring that down a bit so easing off the brightness but you can play with this in any way you like so yeah, i can just take any of those points and move them up and down but it's like having a curves but the the gradient is linear in between and if you've got the luminosity selected you get color and you of course go back to normal and you've got black and white but so you've got that ability to switch the two but look at the difference between this one and this one yeah here you've got a far more control over what you want to do here and you're not faffing around with the curves anyway that's it hope that was a useful little extra tip it's something i just found by playing out playing around with things recently thought you might like it thank you very much for watching